what's up everyone welcome to another tutorial on my channel today I'm gonna talk about how to make a seamless transition without using any third-party transition packs or plugins or anything else so why am I talking about transitions today because transitions are so important when you're making a video or working in cinematography stuff you have to pay attention pay close attention to your transitions your transitions must have flow the rhythm of your video okay before we moving on I have to remind you another time that if you like my video if it was helpful for you give it a thumbs up subscribe it and hit the notification button and absolutely share it with your friends because it might be helpful to, for them as well so without further ado let's jump to our transition So first off, in order to make your transitions, you need to take your camera, remove the lens cap, because literally most of the time I forget to remove my lens cap and I, I'm sure that happened to you most of the time. So after that, what are you going to need to do is that you close your camera as near as possible to your object so that your object fills the whole frame of your camera so that we can mask it later in Premiere Pro. So in order to do that, you have to close your camera, as you can see, to your object, which is the guitar right now. And naturally, after that, what you're going to need to do is that you shot the next frame or the next uh, scene of your uh, video. The reason why I move my camera in a swervy way is because, as I told you, uh, your video has to have some flow. So this helps you to uh, give some flow to your video. Yeah, after that you have been recorded your video, you have to jump into Premiere Pro to show you how to make this seamless transition with masking. Okay, when you open the Premiere Pro, what you're gonna do is that you import your photos in the timeline. First, we need this. Uh, I set photos, videos. Uh, you import this video here and the next shot here okay what we're gonna do is that we're gonna carefully select this is where all uh, the frame has been filled with the object this is what I'm talking about so what we're gonna do is that we're gonna choose this scene as the scene that our next shot is going to play because you see there are some uh, empty space that are going to show that is showing that we're going to see the next scene so what are we going to do is that we're going to move backward this is where there's no scene and just hit another frame and we are here we're going to choose this second our second scene and exactly uh, put it here then what we're going to do is that we're going to choose our second uh, video and go to effects and control and we hit this to mask uh, the second scene and what we're going to do is that we're going to uh, keyframe all these as well and we that's it so we're going to choose this from now on what are we going to do is that we're going to mask the second clip uh, for every frame so we uh, click this step forward one frame and next we're going to manually set this for our video So if you play it back, you can see that the video has been smoothly transitioned between 
one clip, which is this clip, to the clip of showing the details of the guitar. The next thing that we, uh, we want to do, that you want to do, is to feather it out a bit until 30 would be okay. Because you can see the transitions feather a bit. So if you play it back and forward, you can see that it... Okay, that's it. Okay, thank you for watching. I hope it was helpful. If it was, share it to your friends, like and subscribe it, and hit the notification bell so you can get more tutorials out of me. I think I will see you in the next video. Keep it safe. I will see you in the next video. I think I said this twice. But anyway, bye-bye.